Hey friends, welcome to a little of it all. My name is Taylor. On this channel, we mainly do cash stuffing and budgeting videos, but don't be surprised if you see a video pop up like maybe on cooking or possibly candle making because I do love a little of it all. Thanks so much for spending some time with me today, friends. Whether you've been hanging out for a while or this is your first time stopping by, I really appreciate you being here. My husband and I are on a journey this year to buy a house, and then we are growing our binder collection and expanding our sinking funds. So if you want to be a part of our journey, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss a single video or update on this crazy fun adventure that we are on. We would absolutely love to have you join us. and give this video a big thumbs up so I'll know that you're here hanging out. All right, guys. So today, this is a completely unplanned video. I was not planning on <laughs> um, making this video today, um, but my school district got out today because of some severe weather that's rolling through. It has not hit yet. Um, <clears throat> and so... I was like, you know what? I'm going to take advantage of this. I'm going to not just sit around. Not that I would be sitting around anyway. <laughs> There's probably 17 things I could be doing within the house, but I wanted to have some fun and hang out with you guys. So I needed to make at least one placeholder for our um, recliner savings challenge, aka that new house fund, um, because we opened up our ally savings account. Confetti, confetti, confetti. Um, and so I needed to make um, a savings um, placeholder for that and um, I was making it and I was like wait a minute this would be like maybe a fun video to make with you guys so I ended up like making all the little placeholders and I thought maybe we could put them um, together together so let's do that so um, if you want to know how I did it, I'll of course, you know, walk you through everything that I've got and how I did it. Um, but for my placeholders, I used a Cricut machine to cut out my designs and um, I'm going to be using a paper cutter. I'm going to be using five mil laminating sheets. Um, and actually this time I did something a little different. You know, I'm all the time like, trying new things and doing new things. I used vinyl on some designs and then I used cardstock on some designs. Um, so I'll show you guys that when we get there, but let's go ahead and get these designs put together within our cardstock, sorry, within our laminating sheets and I'm gonna get this bad boy turned on. Okay, so this one I did already have to stick down because the, so I used, I got some um, vellum sticky notes and I didn't know how it was going to work. Um, and in case everything went crazy, I went ahead and stuck this down. I don't think it's very level, <laughs> but um, I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, so this is a 1000 placeholder and let's see so this is a, a cardstock design that i did um and so i think they turned out pretty okay i'm really excited about them um i just it took me a little bit to figure it out of course um like how to combine it because like i was in the card no in the cricket settings um if you cricket at all you'll know what i'm talking about like i was attaching everything and printing it I wasn't um, combining everything so like it was still slicing my design here and here and I was like what is happening um so I finally I finally figured out what I was doing wrong um, and so I think they turned out pretty cool I was trying to figure out how I can make like envelopes out of these I know of course like paper envelopes guys like of course hello duh but I wanted to do like um, um, like design envelopes, you know, like if you've seen my other video, um, where I made the, um, envelopes, uh, for my bill binder, like envelopes like that, like cutie boots designs, um, but I just don't know if it's possible for some of them, because, you know, like, the design has to be attached, or you've just got, like, chaotic, tiny little pieces running around everywhere, and that would be, that would be a mess, you know, um, to deal with so of course you could probably like design it however you wanted to but 
Mm. That would that would be too much. So, um, you know, I, I think doing simple designs with the cardstock that would be pretty easy to do. So um, I'm pretty pretty excited about how they turned out. I've got a couple more to show you guys. Um, I did a 1,000 and then a 5,000. Like I want to do one each with the cardstock. Um, so this is a 500, and getting it centered is gonna be the hardest part and then like not tearing the paper when I peel it up that's also gonna be pretty hard okay I feel like that's pretty okay That looks pretty cute, I think. I think it may be tilted like this, just a hair, but that's okay. I'm not going to think about that. I'm going to think about the fact that it didn't rip the cardstock when I pulled it up. That's what I'm going to think about, and that's what I'm going to be glad about. I'm going to get the dog hair off of this design. This is a design that I said I was never going to do again, but um, I increased the pressure on my Cricut machine. I tried to double cut it, um, but the double cut, like cut through the, the stuff, the vinyl, that's the word. Um, and so I was like, mm, I don't know. So the measurements that I used for my placeholders, I don't know what the standard measurement is for placeholders. Um, I guess I could have researched that, but I just kind of did what I wanted to do. So the measurements that I used for my placeholders um, is uh, I did six um, six inches. So this they're six inches long and then 2.25 inches high. So... Um, they're just a little bit shorter and a little bit um, not going to be as long as actual money, but I didn't want them to be taller. That was my only thing is I didn't want it to be taller than that actual money. Um, so I was okay if it was going to be shorter. All right, so let's just lay this down here and... Okay. All right, that went so much better that time around than it did the first time around. So let's fold this down. And let's just go ahead and run this through the laminator so we can set it to the side, make sure all dog hair is out of our designs and not going to be laminated in. There we go. Okay. And through the laminator we go. Okay. <clears throat> those look pretty cool. I'm excited about those. So let's do our next, I think I've just got two left. I've got, I got a little ambitious. I've got a 5,000. And then I've got um, one more 1,000. So I've got one more five mil laminating sheet. And then I've got my 5,000. Both of these are cardstock. One of the cardstocks that was gonna be hard to set up and I'll show y'all why. So here's the 5,000. Looking pretty good. He was one of the ones I kept messing up too. Like it was just cutting here, 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 and here. Okay, and then this is the other 1,000. So, in my head, I was like, oh, this will be cool. I can, like, cut out, you know, the letters. Not thinking about the fact that, <laughs> you know, it's like bubble letters. So, I'm hoping I'll be able to put these in here and they'll look normal. We'll see.
All right, let's run it through. Okay, I am super pumped about these. Look how good they look. I can't believe that this one turned out good. I was real concerned that this guy was gonna be a wash, but let's get our paper cutter and get them cut out. I'm just gonna do a rough cut, just kinda cut them down. Cut them down to size. Okay, so now we have them. You know, they're gonna be easier to work with and I'm just gonna trim around the edges staying away from the air pocket you know like the little air bubble around the edge because um, I don't want to cut into that so let's just get them closer together more trimmed more um, down to the six inches that I want So I think these look great. Some people may think they're a little small. That's totally fine and fair, but like I said, I wanted them to be a little bit on the smaller side. Now, let me go ahead and round these sharp corners out because I don't want them to be cutting me. We are all set. So we've got 1,000. I'm really digging the way this one looks and turns out. 5,000 because I got ambitious and was like, why not? And then a 500. And then a 1,000. And then a 500. Because let's be honest, these are probably going to be more common. And then I wanted to show you guys the one that I made the other day. Um, he's a little bit bigger. Um, but I really liked him a lot too. Um, I think I did him like two and a half size. Like if we compare, yeah, he's just a tiny bit bigger. Um, and so when I made him, I knew I was like, I don't necessarily like that size. Still six inches, but just a, um, just a little bit bigger. So there are my placeholders that I made. Um, and let's look at them compared to some cash. So I'll go ahead and put this 500 back into my recliner challenge because that's where he goes. And then you'll be able to see compared. So you'll see, let me get these um, ones out of the way. When I did it, you know, he's just a little bit bigger than the cash and I didn't love that. So I was like, I want to make it just a little bit smaller. So now let's do this 500. So now, obviously, this one is significantly smaller, um, but he fits in perfectly with the cash. So I like this size much, much better. He's not going to stick out over the cash. So there's my placeholders. So. Don't hate this one, just I don't want it bigger than the cash. That's just my personal preference. So there we go. So I'm gonna stick this one back in there. And um, so this size I believe was two and a half um, that I made. And then this new size was 2.25. So, um, if you don't like either size, maybe there's like a, a happy medium in between those two um, that you might like. Um, and so then I'll put these guys back in, I think I have a tailor envelope. Yeah, I'll put them back here in my tailor envelope and can just pull them out whenever I'm ready for them to stuff in to, and look how easily they fit into my envelopes. Perfect, yay. 
Yay! So I'll be ready to go with some placeholders whenever I need them. That was a fun little video. Thanks so much for spending that time with me, friends. I really appreciate you hanging out and just being with me today. Y'all are awesome. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Um, I really, really appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't give up doing great things. Y'all are awesome. Bye, friends.